Hello, I recently reviewed my Ibanez Pia and a number of people asked me whether it was good for rhythm playing. Um, I play in a band, I'm the only guitarist, um, so I do play a lot of rhythm as well as lead, um, but obviously everybody's got their own styles and their own setup. So I thought what I would do is just uh, compare it against a number of my other guitars on exactly the same preset through my Helix. So it's through my Helix, straight into the desk. Um, I'm using a, a Minotaur distortion, which is based on a Klon Centaur modeler. Um, and uh, on the one side, I'm using a, a cartographer amp into a 4x12 Marshall IR. And on the other side, I'm using a Line 6, six Badonk um, into a Marshall uh, 4x12 IR as well. Um, so you get that kind of lovely stereo chunky sound. So I'd suggest that you listen to this on headphones or uh, through a decent sound system rather than just on your phone. Otherwise, you'll probably only be able to tell the difference uh, with the Stratocaster when I get to that. Um, but hopefully that that will give you a good indication of how this lines up uh, against everything else. Uh, let's see how we get on. <laughs>
the pier came out very well. It's a, a great balance between the, uh, the bottom end of the Les Paul, for example, and the clarity uh, of the PRS. And also, I think the Schecter um, was kind of just out and out metal. Um, great, great sound. Probably um, the closest to what you'd want for that kind of thing. Um, this gives you a little bit more spread. Uh, obviously great lead sound as well and the shuriken I just threw that in there because that's got the magnetics and it's also got the modeling uh, the variax modeling so what you heard was um, magnetics that I thought were probably not as uh, hot output as I expected to be honest and uh, the modeling you could uh, it sounded good but if you listen carefully you could hear the plinky plank of the of the piezo pickups um, so you could take that out of the sound to a certain degree and probably use some EQ to do that, maybe use some heavier strings. I'm using nines on that at the moment because I generally play a lot of lead. But um, yeah, I think across the board that gives you a good picture uh, as to where it sits. Of course, the, the uh, strap was very thin, but quite a nice sound in its own right if you wanted to use that uh, in certain types of music. So thanks for watching. Hope that was useful and see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.